Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and very seldom do I ever copy somebody else's YouTube video, but this is pretty cool, and he did a really good job, and I just wanted on my channel to show the people that follow me how to create, a, and I didn't do an outstanding job, but it's pretty cool. Put a rainbow into any picture. We just have a plain picture here. So all I have to do is, and I'm just doing exactly what he did. I'm making a, a line. I'm going to make it 0.3 wide. And I'm going to make my nudge distance 0.3. And I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. So I'm going to hit the plus key and move it down. And then make seven, one more, make seven colors. And I'm going to very simply just use the smart fill tool and I started off, I ended up with purple. So I'm going to make the bottom purple. I'm going to change it to a dark blue and make the other one dark blue. I'm going to change the other one to a light blue. I'm going to change it up a little bit than I did the first time. I'm going to make the next one green. So all I'm doing is taking a smart fill tool and filling in those, those bars of uh, rectangles, basically all they are. Then I'm going to take an orange. I'm doing a little bit different than the one I did previous. And then take a red and put it on top. Now you've got these colors. I am going to right click no outline and I'm going to go to object and I'm going to group them together. Let's get this out of the way for a second. So this is all one group and then go to your artistic media tool, go to the brush and you can see it's up there already because I've already clicked on it. So it's, I'm going to save it and I'm going to call it rainbow two. And now we'll have that forever and ever. I am going to do a little bit there different than he did. I'm going to use the three point curve line and go from about right there to right there and maybe just kind of shape it like right there. And then I'm going to take the artistic media tool again and I'm going to click on that. And then I need to make it a little bit narrower. That's pretty good. And then we need to pretty important, go to object, break the artistic media apart to get rid of that line. Cause that's our brush stroke. And then to make it look more realistic. And now I can do this before I couldn't do it. Let's just back up here and I'm going to show you what he did. So we don't have it broken apart. If we go to effects and blur, everything's grayed out. So we can't do that. But if we get rid of that and then we click on it and go to effects and blur, now we can go to the Gussie and blur and I'm going to blur it and you could blur it more or less. You know, whatever you want to do, that's good enough for the video. And then to kind of make the edges look, they really look pretty good already. Now that would actually work, but you could take the trans, trans, uh, transparency tool and just give it a little bit of transparency. I'm just going straight down. My old laptop takes a little bit of time, but it's going to make your ends a little bit less square. If I can keep talking long enough to keep my old laptop actually took out too much. Let's go a little, maybe further down, see what it does. And that particular thing wouldn't be bad, but I'm, um, you can still, it's still thinking my old laptop, I need to replace it, um, uh, to get it to run these, uh, graphics better. I, I've never really needed it before because Pretty much all I did was stay with color. But let's say that's good enough and you could play with that till the cows come home. And you could still move this down a little bit. And if you look at that, it looks like a rainbow over those mountains. I like my first one better, but you, you could play around with the transparency tool. So that's the artistic media tool. So I think the person who made that video and he posted on Facebook and I looked at it and I go, well, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.